gosh, be careful. Oh gosh. W wait, what? And how come we never really see the adults? Oh, that's just creepy. Hello fellow anime geeks, welcome to another first impression video in this fall 2020 season. I'm trying all of the anime series premieres that I can to hopefully give you guys a bit more information on this ongoing season. As usual, I'll be organizing my thoughts by answering these four questions. Today I'm going to be trying my best to talk about Higurashi no Naku Koro ni Go or Higurashi When They Cry new on Funi without spoiling it. Now, this series does have multiple sequels, but as far as I understand it, after going around in circles in the related anime portion of the Mal pages for quite a while, this is a new adaptation or remake of the original 2006 storyline, which I have not seen, so technically this is a new series premiere for me at least. The Mal tags are dementia, horror, mystery, psychological, supernatural, and thriller. THRILLER! Frankly, I was a bit thrown off by the dementia tag. It doesn't describe a specific illness, as Google tells me, but I very much associate it with real-world conditions, not supernatural ones like the memory loss incurred in this anime. But other than that, I would very much agree that this is a horror supernatural thriller. Now, before my try everything resolution, I hadn't really tried a lot of horror anime because Japan really knows how to give me nightmares. They've made me scared of TV static. I don't know how many of y'all even remember what that is. Missed calls, hair, bath water, the sound. Uh... But this does remind me of one of the few horror anime I have watched, another because there's this feeling like you can't trust anyone and there's this set of rules that a whole community is following but then we have this outsider point of view that isn't familiar with those rules and then you start questioning whether the person that is wrong here isn't the protagonist and then pair that with this idyllic portrayal of high school life until all of the pleasant interactions become more and more unnerving and you've got yourself a good thriller. This duality also reminds me of Madoka Magica and it actually it would have been really cool if they had advertised this as some sort of like cutesy slice of life kind of like how they advertised Madoka Magica as just another magical girl anime but Higurashi is pretty well known by now I think so you know we'll just have to be satisfied with the amazing contrast that they pulled off. The art is that super cute big eye simplified hair art style. The idyllic portions have this BGM that's like plucky and elevator music type style BGM that you hear in pretty much every slice of life anime. And up until now, I think that our protagonist is the only guy we've seen in his age group, so a lot of the interactions feel like we're watching a harem anime, but then Man, when it goes creepy, it goes creepy. Hopefully that'll give you an idea of the kind of mood created in this anime, but as far as plot goes, I don't think I can tell you very much other than our protagonist is uh, this transfer student who's gone to a small farming town and the school there is mixed grade because it's such a small community but this is not the slice of life that you're envisioning right now. Stuff is clearly wrong from the get-go and again the more they show you these pleasant cute interactions between this group of friends the more unnerving it feels. So I think Higurashi is pretty original. Like I said, I'm not super familiar with the genre, but I think that this stark contrast between style, art style, and tone is something that I've rarely seen. Madoka Magica is an example. Uh, maybe the, the fun intro to Death Parade that had me thinking like, oh, I'm about to watch a fun romance about bartending. So is it worthwhile? I say yes, I like a good thriller, but my only concern is with the ending. I feel like a thriller is only as good as its resolution and how satisfying that is. But you know, this is a series that spawned multiple sequels, so I'm hopeful that this is going to play out in an interesting way. Okay, that's not my only concern. My other concern is that this is going to get too gruesome for me. 
that first scene, y'all know what I'm talking about. So, if you're not into horror, sorry, but this is not the slice of life you were looking for. And on that note, I'll catch you in the next video. I'm gonna go hide all the knives. Oh, the sound. Oh, the sound. Oh, the sound. Oh my gosh.